Guys, welcome to the video. This is going to be the last Young Hands video that I will produce for this channel. I will not be talking about this again. <laughs> I really won't. The watch is now back in my possession. And it does have a new crystal on the face. But there is a little bit of a story as to what crystal is on the face. Originally, as you know, I wanted a sapphire. Now, this was the original crystal that was taken off. You can just about see, if I hold it here, you can see one crack, one chip in the glass, and then you can see another two here. So those with, there's one here, and then there's two here, one, two. So three in total, and that is what was casting the shadow on the actual face of the watch. That's why I wanted this work done. You can see them quite clearly there. The crystal I purchased, now this is a brand new Jung, official Young Hands crystal. He's actually chipped this. If you can just see that chip, see that chip? In, all, in trying to put this on, he chipped it. And he says that this crystal didn't fit. He said it was just a fraction too big. Now, I'm not sure whether I believe that or whether he's just saying it because he's chipped the glass there. Anyway, he has put this on. He says he had one in stock. Why he didn't put this on in the very beginning, I'll never know. But the problem now is that this is acrylic. So for anyone who's aware of acrylic... I forget the name of the hardness scale, but acrylic is right down at the bottom. I think it's a 4 out of 10. Whereas a sapphire, untreated, is 9 out of 10 in terms of hardness. So this thing is, you know, this thing is potentially... It's going to be a real scratch magnet, I imagine. I would need to read more into acrylic and see just how bad it is, but I think... With the knowledge I've got, I think acrylic is pretty bad. So, just whilst I'm on the video, I'm actually going to do a very, very quick Google search. Acrylic watch glass. And let's just see how bad it is. Okay, so here, uh, the, one of the first... Links is to a site called firstclasswatches.co.uk and it says Acrylic watch glass is probably the weakest of all types of watch glass. It's mostly down to the fact it's made from plastic and not from actual glass. It's cheap to manufacture a plastic that's rather weak. It's found at the, on the lower price point watches such as Timex and Laurus. It says here, but in all honesty, plexiglass, which is what was originally on the Young Guns, is a type of acrylic. So... It says here, though, on the plus side, acrylic is also repairable if it's scratched. Okay, so... You can actually, the pros, it's cheap, easy to replace, it's lightweight, easy to rub out scratches. The cons is that it looks cheap, which I think, I mean, I think it does, but you can't really, I mean, unless you really know what's on it. Um, and it's, it's fairly weak material because it is indeed plastic. So I think ultimately what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell the Max Bill. Um, I absolutely love the watch. But the money I've spent on crystals, I th he's even ch chipped this and so now it's not sellable. Uh, this is chipped and that's basically a waste product now. I think, I think for me, the G-Shock and my tank is where the collection finishes because... This has just been a nightmare roller coaster ride, and it's such a shame because even with the acrylic glass, or it's not even glass, acrylic plastic on the actual face of the watch now, 
the crystal it, it does look somewhat beautiful it really does it looks like a really nice watch but i know for a fact i know because i i do i bang my watches you know we all do don't we this is not going to take any punishment at all now not that you're not going to put a dress watch through intentional punishment but now it has you know an untreated acrylic on it's just it's it is going to function as a dress watch and nothing else. I just don't think you could really wear this with any degree of confidence anymore. I mean, put it this way, guys. If there was chips on the treated, this is the plexiglass that was originally on it. If this chipped and this caused problems, can you imagine just how an untreated acrylic is going to be? It just doesn't bear thinking about. So I think I'm going to stick with the the G-Shock, and I'm going to stick with the Tank. I'm probably going to sell the Young Hands. Just one thing about the G-Shock, I mean, obviously the, the LCD on these, these are not Sapphire as well. These are not. But where, where you, if you can see that the actual crystal is embedded deep, quite deep inside the, the G-Shock there, if you drop this face down, then... The actual, the, on this particular model, the ring around the face of the watch actually takes the brunt of the damage. So that's why, the, and obviously, you know, this, the, these are built to withstand. It's a totally different kind of watch. It's a totally different kind of watch. But I think this is why the Max Bill finally got it back. It's going to have to leave the collection now, unfortunately. I just hope someone else can enjoy it and... It's what can I say? It's a stunning, absolutely beautiful watch in every regard. But uh, I just don't have any confidence left with it now, uh, as it's a acrylic crystal. I'll just tell you how much he charged me. So if you just want to take a guess, just take five, ten seconds. What do you think he charged me to put a brand new acrylic crystal on the Max Bill? I'm going to now just convert this into US dollars. So it was £25, which is $34, and Canadian dollars, doing this especially for uh, AWC, that's 43.78 Canadian dollars I was just charged to put the acrylic crystal on. Is that good? I don't know. It does seem very fair, but don't forget he has chipped this one, so this is probably not sellable anymore. Um, I don't know, guys. I, it's been a long journey. Thanks for watching. Let me know your comments, especially regarding the prices. So that was thirty-four Canadian, uh, sorry, thirty-four American dollars. It cost me forty-three Canadian dollars, and it was twenty-five British pounds. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks, guys.